In today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how to reset a Windows Vista password. So let's get started. So we're not going to use any kind of VM or screen capture, we're going to be using real hardware and for today's video we'll be using the old HP Compact DC7900. Now for this method to work we are going to need some kind of Windows install media, whether it's an OEM disk or a USB you created, it really doesn't much matter, though it does need to be uh, Vista 7, 8, or 10. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do know what the password is to this. Windows install as it's currently set to pass 123 word. Now this really doesn't much matter as we're going to be able to change it to whatever we want using this method. So to begin, we're going to have to uh, restart this machine and boot into our Windows media. So we'll go ahead and do that. So you are going to need to know what your uh, boot menu key is. For me, it's F9, so we'll go ahead and hit that. And uh, from here, we'll go ahead and select our USB device. We'll boot from the USB, and uh, we want to go ahead and select the uh, Windows setup. So we'll hit enter. Uh, this could take some time, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. All right, now that we're at the Windows install, we're actually going to not go any further with this, and we're going to use a keyboard shortcut to open up Command Prompt. So we're going to go ahead and hold Shift and hit F10. So now that we have access to uh, command line, what we need to do is we need to find out what drive letter is associated with our Windows install. Uh, it's probably C, though we may try D as well. So from the looks of these uh, folders and stuff, this looks like our Windows install. So now that we have this information, we can go ahead and run a few copy commands. First of which is just going to be a uh, backup copy of the sticky keys file so that way we can uh, retrieve it after we get back into Windows. So we'll go ahead and type that in. As you can see it says right there that one file has been copied. So with that done we'll go ahead and write our second copy backup and uh, that one will be of our uh, command prompt program file. So we'll go ahead and type that in. Okay, that file copied as well. So with both of our backups made, what we're going to do now is we're going to do our final command, which is actually going to copy the command prompt program file over the sticky keys program file, but it'll keep the sticky keys name. So we'll go ahead and type that in. So right here it's just asking us if we want to override the original sticky keys program file and uh, we want to type yes. With that all completed we are all set in this command prompt and this windows install so we'll go ahead and exit out of this and uh, exit out of our Windows 7 install here. We'll pull out our thumb drive and we'll reboot into Vista. So we're back at the login and uh, what we want to do is we actually want to try to open our modified sticky keys program and by doing that, we're going to try to use the keyboard shortcut for sticky keys, which is hitting shift five times. Okay, now that we have our command prompt open, we can run a few more commands to change this password. The first of which is net user. So all this command does really is just uh, show us what... Uh, users are in this Windows install. Uh, we have the built-in administrator, the built-in guest, and our owner account. So for the final command we're going to be changing the password and for that command we're going to type net user, the name of our user which is owner, 
and then the new password. So we'll, we'll go ahead and type that in. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit enter, and this will change our password to 123. It says command completed successfully, so we'll go ahead and exit out of this command prompt, and we'll try out our new password. So first, we're going to try our old password, which was pass123word. And as you can tell, it no longer accepts that password. So we'll go ahead and try our new password, which is 123. And there we go, logs us right in. So what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to log back out and we're going to change the password again. So let's do that. So what we want to do is uh, we want to open up the command prompt again. So we'll uh, use this keyboard shortcut of hitting shift five times. Now from here we're going to uh, change the password once again and this time we'll change it to uh, Windows. So we'll type a net user owner Windows. Once again it says that it completed successfully so we'll get out of this command prompt and we'll try out our new password. So first we're going to try our original password of pass123word. And of course, it still doesn't work. So we'll uh, go ahead and try our last password of 123, which worked before. And again, it doesn't work. So we'll try the new password we just put in, which was Windows. And there we go, logs us right in. And that's how you change a Windows Vista password. Knowledge is power.